Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Please consider liking this video. I have realized that you guys, if I have not reminded you to like the video, you don't like. If I reminded you, you like the video. So there is a video I have uh, analyzed. It is having views. We are having only five likes. Please consider supporting the work that I'm doing in this channel. Just like for, the, for me this video. When you like the video, you support me. If you don't like, it means otherwise. Please consider liking this video. I will appreciate you so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this evening, I'm watching a video from Linus Kaikai's news gun report yesterday, and I'm shocked the kind of game that national government and county government is playing with doctors. And this is the video. Take a look. Mamma, the <laughs> Need I say more? If you missed the story, the video is a sharp critique, even if hilarious, of devolution. The two men eating represented the county and national governments, while the sheep represents you and me, the Monainchi. Now, get back to your pen. That's my kicker. If now you are being told that as we speak, no one understands ni nani and has solved the issue your doctor's strike. Is it county governments or is it national government? I'm so worried if truly this is the kind of country we are having that doctors are in strike. Na mnaambiwa pesa hakuna kwa national government. Huku county government wanaambi mnaambiwa tutawafuta kazi. Msuburudi kwa kazi tunawafuta kazi tunaandika wengine. Swali ni the way you've watched the kind of comedy video at Citizen TV. Unapata kwamba county government wanakula vizuri, national government wanakula vizuri. Wakati doctors wanakuja ku claim their own wakienda kwa county government wanasukuma wanae wanaambiwa muende national government wakienda national government wanaambiwa tokeni national government and county government so which is which as we are having devolved government we are having devolved government we are having counties and national government who is responsible to solve this issue of uh, doctors strikes earlier on Niliona argument ya watu wakisema kwamba kuna mosuptali yenye county government nitakana wana take control na wao wanalipa mshahara wa madaktari. On this side tunaambiwa kuna mosuptali ambayo serikali kuu inatakikana wa take over and even paying their salaries. But the question we are asking still is that who is going to resolve the issue of doctor's strike? That is what we are asking. Because, because it is now simply a game. 
You know, national government, they don't want to be responsible. County government, they don't want to be responsible. Ume, umesikia hata county government wakiambu. Wa, wa matani. Aki threaten doctors. Ati kwamba, musipurudi yon mande kazi. Munafutu wa kazi. Munafutu wa kazi na tunandika wengine. You saw the chair of health committee at uh, Council of Governors. Uh, the governor, Mdomi Juki. Akujia kusema kwamba, these governors must come, uh, uh, these doctors must come out to respond to their working stations on Monday. And if they're not going to respond to their, or they're not going to, uh, uh, to go to their working stations, then they are going to be fired. Is this the solution for the county government to tell doctors? At the same time, the national government led by William Ruto and his uh, head of public service, Felix Koskei, they are saying the national government does not have money. They don't have money. And so they must come out and agree with what Wamepewa. What I'm seeing here, the battle that I'm seeing here is that the interns should be paid 206000 But the national government is insisting they have 70000 Which for the interns, they're feeling like it is too little. Kama wanapewa 70, ikatwe kato taxes, sijui NHF, NSSF, loans, kila kitu. I was seeing some someone suggesting that you'll find that these people are even receiving 30k per month. 30,000. Now I want to open a risk allowance. Eh, kila kitu. Over time. You know. But when you look at the argument of both national government and county government, you realize that these people, they don't have any criteria of resolving this issue of doctor's strike. And that is why when Askuma Daktari huku wewe, sisi kama county, muende national government. Huku saide ngine, sisi kama national government, muende county government. Are they going to resolve the issue? Kenyans. As, are they going to resolve the issue? Absolutely no. Why? Because no one is interested on involving these doctors and to hear them what they are saying. Can they agree? Can they sign another CBA? Can they even have action towards the last CBA signed 2017-2021 for them to at least show they are so committed this is what we have. At least we can pay 100 or 150,000. The Kenya will The Kenya Kwanza government are bragging. They have stabilized the economy. On this side, the county governments, they're claiming they have been not been given money. Or the person and the national government, the disbursement of the money is expected to be given all these counties. It's a quite disbursed. So they don't have money to pay these doctors. At the same time, the government is bragging, saying they have stabilized the economy. Now they can uh, levelize everything. Why are you saying that you have stabilized the economy? You cannot pay doctors. The civil servants, they are receiving salary late. Um, projects, Imesumama, Imekwa stalled. Look at road, has been stalled. Housing program, Sijuka me naendelea. Hustler fund, Ilekwama, Sijuka me badi naendelea. So that is what is happening with the national government. But on this county government, they at the same time, they are claiming they are collecting money. Some kind of counties even came out saying they have improved towards collecting a revenue. So for them, they are depending on what they are collecting. Ikidogo yana collect palichini. Lakini wanangojea ilia national government. Na ina a national government na chelewa, so they are feeling like they are being sabotaged. So if this is the kind of a um, country we are going to have, then ladies and gentlemen, we are in a hot crisis. Why? Because saitu kiyomelelea. Those who rejected the constitution of 2010 are now leading the country. William Ruto led no the constitution of 2010 and he never believed in devolution. He rejected even Imajibo 
yenye sasa ilibadilishwa jina jina ikakuwa makaunti ali reject baya sana you know ali reject so for you to expect him to actually operate on the basis of these devolved counties it is a big problem and in fact inafungua njia for him to at least relax because anajua county government pia lazima wakuwe na responsibility but if this atunge kuwa na county government then i'm telling you the crisis yenye tungekuwa tunaona sasa hivi ingekuwa tu national government national government national government ladies and gentlemen what do you think drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of great support please consider subscribing liking this video i've realized that you guys you don't like the video like the video when you like the video you automatically support the work i'm doing and of course you are going to be recommended and you're going to make this video reach many people please consider liking the video bye bye till you meet in another video